That's my shit. The pulling pill kind. Good. You want to order right there? Good. All right. James, obviously a, a big win, an important fight for you. What's the uh, what's the feeling like right now? It's good. Um, uh, I, fe I feel good. Uh, disappointed I didn't get a finish. Um, he was tough, man, and he was he was. Uh, I knew that, you know. I didn't uh, underestimate the guy at all. I knew he was tough. I trained, I trained my ass off like I always do, and um, dislocated my finger. Um, but that wasn't, you know, no excuse to do. Was just a, a gritty veteran with, with, um, you know, eight, won eight out of his last nine fights in the UFC, and um, uh, has also has one of the better, best records in the entire organization. He's just a tough dude, and you know, the one thing I was surprised about is, is uh, the rumor on him and uh, uh, with his cardio. The dude didn't get tired. He didn't get tired at all. And when he did get tired, I could tell he got tired, but he, uh, he, he was a warrior. You know, he sucked it up. You know, he didn't, he didn't break when he got tired. And um, uh, I, was, I, I was shocked that, that, that he didn't uh, get more tired for sure. Yeah. You mentioned the dislocated finger. When did that happen? What happened? I mean it was either the, the end of the second or the beginning of the third round. He threw like a kick, and I, you know, I put my hand up to block, and I looked down, and it was bent all the way backwards. And I was like, oh, and I looked at him, and he saw it. And I was like, no. And I popped it right back in place, and it just kept going. And that's why in the third round, I really didn't throw my right hand much. I stayed in front of him, but I, I just kept doing side kicks, keeping him off, because I didn't want to, you know, it was hurting real bad. I didn't want to throw it. Um, uh, so I had to make it work. I know you're disappointed that you didn't get the finish, but I'm very happy with how you fought overall, especially against a ranked guy, a proven guy like that. I mean, are you satisfied with the way you fought? Yeah, and Trinaldo, you know, um, uh, Trinaldo's beat a lot of guys that were supposed to be like me. They were supposed to be up-and-comers, and he shut them trains down. And, you know, I, I knew uh, what was at stake. I wasn't going to let that happen. You know, he, he's beat a lot of guys coming up that were on the way up. And, he, you know, like I, I was calling all these guys out. They were praying. Man, guys like Kevin Lee and Kessie, they're praying that Trinaldo beats me. They, 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 they don't want to have to fight me. So they're praying, you know, a, 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 a salty veteran like that will, will take me out so they don't have to deal with me. So give me the plan now. I mean, you said you, you mentioned it, world title. You, you you brought the biggest names in the division right now. So are you saying you stay ready, and if you know somebody needs to fill in in this fight that's coming up, you jump in there? Or how do you see things playing uh, out? hundred percent. You know, I'm uh, uh, you know obviously I, I have a baby coming up due uh, three days before that event, so my baby's due April fifth. But um, uh, you know, my yeah, my, my goal in, in in my mind, my destiny is to become a world champion. I work my ass off. Some of these guys have been training for ten years longer than me, and I've beaten them all. Um, uh, my, I have one of the best records in the entire organization. Nine and one. Uh, you can't name probably three other guys that have a, a better record than that. Khabib is probably the only one because he's never lost. You know. Um, uh, so 100. percent I'm, I'm ready to fight for a world title. I, I, I'm ready for these guys. I, uh, I, you know, I've been training. I've been working my ass off for the last 11 years to get to where I'm at, and um, my skill set is all time high. And, and and I'm 100 percent ready for these guys. And last thing for me, you think you'll finally get the respect that you deserve, or do you think you're still going to have to keep? You know, t t shouting it I, out. I, I don't know. I wish I would have got the finish because it would it would have did me me more justice for sure. Um, I'm pissed because you know I rocked him real bad in the first round and I, I rushed in and uh, I let him change levels on me and uh, and then get the takedown and then we got scrambled up and he, he got his you know wits about him. So I'm pissed I didn't get the finish because that would have looked better for my case. But I really didn't take any damage that fight and um, uh, you know besides my hand, you know you know kind of a self inflicted injury basically and uh, you know. Uh, I better get some respect, and I'm hoping, you know, at this point I'm ranked, you know, you know, after this fight I'll be ranked in the top ten, I'm hoping. Looking on social media, I mean, a couple of the guys kind of responded to, you know, your call out, like Michael Chiesa posted like, a little thing. What did he say? I bet he did. It was just a little picture kind of like dismissing, you know, your call out. Or, yeah, that's you know, cool. That. So, I mean, with these guys, like, what do you, I mean, obviously you go out there, you get win, win after win. Is there anything that you can do? that you see that you can, you know, get these guys' attention. But basically, the, U the UFC is going to have to force these guys to fight me. That's the, I mean, Sean Shelby tells me on the phone, he's, I mean, he's trying hard as he can to do his job. He tells me these guys want no part of you. He straight up tells me that, and he's like, you know, he told me, he, he goes, I'm going to try to make that fight. They wanted to make the Kiesa fight because it made the most sense. The dude beat me six years ago on the Ultimate Fighter, okay? And he's, the thing with him, the problem I have with him is he says that, uh, that I'm not ranked high enough to fight him. Okay, I understand, dude. If you, if you think that, that you, you've worked harder and you, you've earned a higher ranking and you don't, I don't deserve to fight you because I'm not ranked high enough, okay, I, I respect that. Until you start calling out Evan Dunham, who's ranked fucking below me and now you're fighting Anthony Pettis who's ranked below me so that whole that whole argument just went out the window because you you're 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 agreeing to fight guys that are ranked below me but I'm not ranked high enough for you and you know uh Kevin Lee's turned out two fights with me already back back uh after I beat Glyco Franca and um uh uh 
in Vegas before I lost my only fight to Darius, um, Kevin Lee turned down that fight with me. And I, you know, I have text messages from Joe Silva and Sean Shelby on both of these for if he ever tries to deny that I'm going to expose his ass on social media. I mean, he hasn't really denied it. You know, he just hasn't even mentioned it. They, they don't want to mention my name. I don't care. I'm done with these guys. If they don't want to sign, if they don't sign the fights, I don't care. Don't, they don't have to fight me. I, I'm thinking Khabib. I'm thinking Tony Ferguson. I'm thinking McGregor. I'm thinking world title fights. I'm nine and one. I just, I just have the same record as Conor McGregor has in the UFC. You know, so I mean, to say that I'm not worthy to fight these dudes is, is a joke. I am worthy. You know, so I don't give a fuck if Kevin Lee and Kiesa don't want to fight me, or or Dustin Poirier, or or or, or, or Justin Gaethje. You know, Justin Gaethje was running his mouth back early this summer. You know, the dude's a fucking punching bag. I'll knock his ass out. You know, these dudes don't want to fight me, man. I don't even care. I'm thinking, I'm thinking above that. You know. Just going back to the, you know, the dislocated finger. Did you talk about your mindset when it happened? You know, the perseverance factor. You know, were you worried about it at all? Um, I, yeah, I mean, it, it hurt. I ain't gonna lie. It's never happened. Um, uh, I dislocated my toe before practice, but I've never dislocated my finger. And I, uh, I, at first, I was like, oh, is it broke? Is it dislocated? And I popped it. To, I was like, well, whatever, I'm going to go with it. And it went back in place. I was like, oh, thank God. Um, uh, but, uh, I mean, I wouldn't, it wasn't going to stop the fights. And, and I knew I was going to find a way to win. And, and I thought I was up two rounds. Honestly, I know it was a competitive fight, but I thought I won, I thought I won the, every round. You know, it was competitive, though. Maybe he did win a round, you know. I'm, uh, I mean, the dude was a warrior. You know, Trinaldo was a, I have the utmost respect for that guy for coming to take the fight with me. And, um, you know, I, my, my hand, it sucked, but I wasn't going to let it. You know, it wasn't going to stop anything. Would you be willing to take a fight at 170, you know, if you don't get one of these top guys to sign with you? If it's a top guy, yeah, I would take a top guy. I would take a fight at 170 if it was a top guy, 100%. But if I, I move up to one, everybody's like, this is what I understand. Everybody's like, oh, oh, James Vick's too big for the weight class. First of all, there's plenty of guys. Kevin Lee said he walks around at 195 pounds. There's plenty of guys who walk around as bigger, bigger than I do. I've, I, Ten weight cuts in a row now, I've never missed weight. Never had no hiccups of, of even, even coming close to missing weight. So people need to go on with that shit. It's weight class, not height class. I mean, I'm fucking six foot three, but I'm skinny as shit. You know, I'm not, you know, I mean, come on. It's weight class, not height class. I'm not going to apologize for being tall and skinny anymore than Trinaldo's going to apologize for being short and, and muscular. You know, I mean, come on. You think you get a world title this year? Yeah, hell yeah. I think I'm going to be a world champion. I'm going to be a world champion by the end of the year. A hundred percent. I believe that with all my heart. My skill set is all time high. I'm ready. I've been ready for these guys. I mean, you know, it took me a while to, you know, I, I started this game late in life. I didn't start training until I was 20 years old. Some of these guys have been training since they were kids. You know, I'm 31 years old now. I've had some, you know, I had one loss. It was a setback and I've had uh, some major surgeries, but I've been healthy. That's my fourth fight in, in basically a year. You know, last year I fought, you know, uh, February 4th in, uh, so in uh, Houston. So that's a year and two weeks. That's my fourth fight. That's the most active I've been in the UFC. And I feel great right now. I mean, I have a couple bumps and bruises, but that's, you know, fighting or whatever. But I, I feel good as hell. And I plan on being in the gym doing something by the end of the week. And, you know, and um, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I I'm going to be a world champion by the end of the year. And how do you celebrate this win here in Texas? What are you going to be doing? Uh, well, uh, so I've been going a lot for my, my girlfriend's pregnancy because, um, uh, because, you know, the training camps and, and, and fighting and stuff. So I promised her we're going to stay in Austin for uh, a, few, a couple of days uh, and, and do all this, you know, romantic uh, baby moon is what she called it, and, uh, stuff that she wants to do. So I'm doing that, and basically I'm just going to eat a bunch of food. And then uh, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go wild hog hunting. And, uh, you know, I love hunting, and I'm going to go hunting and, and have some fun. Not good.